Ich träume und die Welt erzittert. Yes! Yes! <laughs> hey guys, Kong Guy here, and today we have the pleasure of watching Shadow Dash from Zeta playing in his object 268. And uh, yes, this is from the replay system. And he puts a nice hit into the Iron Rain. This is from the replay system, yes, and I said I wouldn't do these unless it was very special. Something happened in that replay that was insane or a highlight or something of the sort. And trust me, you are not going to be disappointed by this game. This game is utterly insane. Does he finish him off? No. Oh, he's shooting at the 50 TP now. Uh, uh, yes, it's the replay. It's a little harder to see. Sometimes he's not pointing at exactly what we're trying to see. But he actually does a very good job at showing us what he's shooting at. And, uh... So thank you, Shadow Dash, for that. Fires a shell, misses, and as soon as he does, he gets spotted, and then so does the 50 TP prototype, the tier 8. Polish premium heavy tank. Now, the 268 is quite an interesting vehicle. It's got the T-10 hull, so it's got phenomenal mobility. Uh, meteor, meteor ochre, <laughs> mediocre armor. But the armor does hold up sometimes. A lot of the time, I, the armor really does hold up. Fires a shell and misses. As you can see, the replay system is really bugged. It said he was aiming higher than he actually was. And you're going to see that a lot when he zooms into sniper mode. So, when it says he's aiming high or above the tank, don't, don't imagine that. Just imagine it, him aiming exactly where the shell goes. Aiming at this waffle. Easy, easy damage into him. He's up to two damaging hits now. And he is nowhere near being done yes the beginning of this game is a bit of a farm but it gets intense at the end guys it gets intense this position i've never used but i'm starting to think i want to use it because now he's up to three damaging hits a blind shot into the waffle how much did he do we do not know and we will not know until later but uh you know three hits that's pretty good 268 back to the 268 it's got 303 millimeters of base penetration fires a shell finally penetrates the 50 tp I don't know what part he was shooting at, maybe his turret, I think is all the only shot he had. But, like I said, 203 millimeters of penetration, no problem. Will we be able to finish him off? As you can see, here's the aiming circle. Yes, he is, he finishes him off, and he gets spotted from the right. There is an AMX M4 Tier 9. Tier 9, heavy tank, super heavy from the French side. French tanks and super heavies, eh? Yep, he's aiming up a shot. As you can see, aiming a little high, no problem. Goes straight in, because like I said... He's not really aiming that high. It's just the replay. A bug. They still haven't fixed it because we're aiming. have no idea how to fix things. Now, this is a phenomenal rate of fire. It's got the same rate of fire as the Grill 15. But it, as you can see, it just it punches harder because it has 100 more alpha. 850 alpha it still has here on console. So you can still roll plus 1,000 if you roll high enough, which is phenomenal. Then your Heat Pen, 395, which he does not delve into, I don't think, at all in this game until... Until he runs out of his AP. Uh oh, spoilers, he runs out of his AP shells. Here comes the Death Star. He aiming up a shot at the Death Star and watch this. Boom! Did you just see that roll? Over 1,000 damage. I couldn't tell if that was 1,003 or 1,008. And before it was 1,005. Uh, huge, huge roll right there, guys. Huge. And he's up to yet another penetration. He's starting to rack things up, but his team is starting to... Well, they were, they were losing before, but now his team has started to bring the, the scores back up. But it looks like the enemy team is going to try to make a play for the base. And uh, we'll see if they're able to do that. Another tank goes down for the enemy, and now they're all tied up. Jodas notices the light tank behind, so he's turning around to face him. Will he find a shot on him? Mm, aiming, maybe, perhaps. He does not, but the M103 does, and finishes off the light tank. Phenomenal job there. Good job. Good teamwork. The light tank goes down. 11 shots left. 11 AP shells. And you're thinking, he's already up to a pretty good number. Uh, how is he supposed to fire 11 AP shells? How much damage is he going to do? Place your bets. Place your bets. Actually, don't bet yet. Wait till the end. Wait till the end. I will tell you when you should place your bets. And then you have to place your bets. You have to. You have to. Put
put in the comments below. Pause the video. When I tell you to pause it, you pause it and you put your bets in the comments below. Unless, of course, you were in the Discord. If you're if you're in the Discord, you already know how much he did because we posted uh, the results there already. For example, a shot. There we go. Down goes the Death Star. He finishes him off. And now the 430U crossing. Will he take a hit from him? No, he won't. Now he's going to try to find a shot on the 430. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe the T57 Heavy. No. No shots on anyone right now. Oh, maybe now he does. Come on, 57. Oh, E100. Will he put a shell in the E100? Yes, he does. Puts a shell in the E100. The E100, will he return shot? Yes, he does. And he bounces off the angled outside plate of the Pike Nose. Now, this Pike Nose, I think it's I think it's better than the T10s. T10s is a what, 110 or 120? I think this is 140. Fires a rush shot into the T57 Heavy and unfortunately only tracks him because the shell went underneath the hull. But this 57 Heavy is lacking common sense. Common sense would say, get the heck out of there. Keep driving. Um, but no, not this T57 Heavy. Common sense to him says, back up so that I'm further in the dip and uh, shooting up <laughs> at this 268. And the 268 puts a shell in, then tracks him, and he fixes it. He fixes his tracks, and that's going to come into play later, guys. And it's going to be a huge make or break situation. It's either going to... Well, you'll just have to find out. Will he finish off the 57 Heavy? Yes, he does. 57 Heavy goes down. As you can see, he's no longer zooming in with his replay because he realizes exactly how buggy it is. It is really buggy. And uh, he's got an E100 in front of us. And he, he's wary about that E50M because he saw the E50M on his left before. He's the one who killed the, uh, the M103, or at least shot him a couple times. He knows he's around there somewhere. And so now he's kind of making a decision like, I kind of have to go after this E100. Bounces the shell from the E100. E50M is spotted from behind. He puts a shell into the turret cheek of the E100. No problem. Maybe it was the side. I can't tell. He kind of looked away. But 303 is more than enough to go through the cheeks without premium rounds on this tank. And now he's face hugging. Hopefully he's going to get a bounce. He gets ammo racked by the 430U. And remember, he just uses a repair kit. He does not have any more repair kits. And he needs to roll high on the E100. He does. He finishes off the E100. And now he's going to get down. He's got to get below these guns. Takes a hit from the E50M. And now he's turning to get down below. Takes another hit from the 430U. This is not going well at all. He drops down below. And, uh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's in a sticky situation. 611 hit points left. He's got a Waffly 100. He's got a 430U. He's got an E50M. And then he's got, what is it, the T92, a CGC? Some, some sort of tier 10 artillery. Um, there's the Waffly 100. Nice aim time on this tank. Boom, he finishes him off. Down goes the Waffle E100. But now he has to reload. Here comes the E50M. He puts a shell in, and now he is a one hit to anything. A nice, simple splash from the artillery from, tw from 12 feet away will kill this tank right now. He has got to be careful. Now the E50M has changed its attention to the Waffle E100 on Shadow Dash's team. The E50M probably doesn't realize that he's ammo rock, and he could have just sat there and finished him off. So, at least they don't know. So that is a good, a good thing. Now, he's kind of just sitting here. He can't run. That's the issue. Like, right now, you would probably want to run through the river and get out of here, but you can't. Oh, he spots the E50M. E50M isn't paying attention. Snaps it in, and he finishes him off. That was a clutch, clutch hit there. 430U misses his shot. Now, artillery will be aiming in, aiming on his position because he just finished off the Waffle E100. So now he's going to be aiming here. And uh, if that 430U rushes him, he can take a hit from the 268 and finish him off. So he's going to need a miracle, guys. This is going to be it. Either he wins this game here or he loses. He needs a miracle. Any good game, you need a little bit of luck. Aiming at the turret. The shell misses. He's pulling back. The 430U realizes this. Oh, boy. Come on. Please bounce, bounce, bounce. Uh, he bounces off right as soon as the shell hits his tank angles back and he bounces off the superstructure of the 268 But now artillery is definitely loaded and he will be aiming. You've got to be careful There it is. He misses Oh my goodness. This this is intense guys. This is intense. There's a 430U 430U is gonna creep around the corner He needs he needs like an ammo rack or a fire something of the sort Otherwise the 430U is gonna finish him off. Come on. He fires. He gets the fire the 430U doesn't bring a fire extinguisher, and he burns to death, and he dies. And now all he has to do is find the artillery and finish him off, and he is officially out of his standard rounds. And all that's left is the pig. The pig that tried to stop him from having a great game. 
No, a phenomenal game. This isn't just a great game. This is this is insanity. This game right now, guys. The end was amazing. He stayed cool even after the ammo rack. After getting circled, he just pulled back and re-engaged. <clears throat> that's exactly what I did. And as you can see here, my voice is going, which means tomorrow I will probably have a stream highlight because I'm definitely coming down with something. And uh, yeah, I'm just... Uh, time I'm wasting time as he drives to kill the artillery where's the artillery going to be he's driving straight towards him there he is there's the artillery he gives the artillery no time to aim artillery misses but the 268 does not and he finishes him off picking up his eighth kill of this phenomenal game now you guys now you pause the video and leave in the comment section below how much damage you think he did go ahead and pause it right now 13,215 damage. <clears throat> that is mind-boggling, guys. He makes 49,000 credits without a premium account because he only shot standard until the end at that artillery because he ran out of standard because usually you don't have to do over 13,000 damage. He blocked 1,780 damage, which was key in this game. Like I said, with every great game, you also need a bit of luck. You need a bit of luck, and he got that bit of luck. It was amazing, amazing. He makes... 6,495 experience, but how much base XP did he get? Well, seeing how he has an XP multiplier up there, and he has 6,495 XP, I'm going to have to say that that's probably a times 3 multiplier, because 6,495 is perfectly divisible by 3, meaning his base XP was 2,165 on a tier 10 vehicle. That's insane. That is insane. Thank you, Shadow Dash, for sending this in. This was a phenomenal game and something that um, most of us, if not all of us, will never, ever achieve. I don't think I will ever break 11,000 damage. I've broken 10,000 once on my account and once on another account. I don't think I'll ever break 11,000, let alone 13,000 damage. Great game, and thanks for sending this in. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, please slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. Also, 8 kills. Uh, make sure you go check out Space Bandit and Gary Daniels' YouTube links in the description below, and I will see you guys all later. Take care, and peace out.